With the summer break in full swing, many Oklahomans are spending more time outdoors, and that means keeping an eye out for tiny parasites. News 4's Amaya Ward has more on an uptick in ticks. State University professor is working with researchers in Southwest Africa with hopes of combating one of Oklahoma's most problematic parasites. My main focus has been on, on ticks and mosquitoes. Associate Professor Bruce Noden says studying ticks requires studying where they love to live, and in Oklahoma, that is the eastern red cedar. In recent years, we've been looking at how eastern red cedar, um, this plant that you see all around here, is involved with the spread of, of ticks and, and mosquitoes. Noden traveled to Namibia, Africa for six weeks, which shares Oklahoma's issues with ticks linked to invasive trees and bushes. What they have there are thorn bushes like acacias, different types of thorn bushes that are taking over the pastures. Noden says a strategy to controlling tick populations here and in Africa may require fighting back against the vegetation they prefer. Until then, ticks are a health risk Oklahomans can't afford to ignore. Just be tick aware. Ticks are no joke in Oklahoma. Yeah, just please check yourselves, check your kids, check your dogs. In Stillwater, Amaya Ward, Oklahoma's News 4. And Oklahoma has 11 species of ticks, and some are very hardy. The American dog tick, which can carry Rocky Mountain spotted fever, can live up to two years without a host to feed on.